Great to have you along. This is a shot on Instagram. Steve95988. Thanks for sending this in. Anna Darko, Oklahoma. Uh, yeah, you know, this is the season where Oklahoma lights up with um, thunderstorms on radar. And if you're a storm chaser, you're, you're thinking, all right, I'm ready to go. If you live there, you're on high alert. As we get into the next five day period, expect a multi day severe weather outbreak. So today we're looking at a slight risk, eastern Oklahoma, uh, pretty well east of I 35, and then the, and a marginal risk. And then tomorrow, a higher threat. Let's go to that now. Um, and then after that, we get a little bit of a break for Thursday and then Friday, Saturday, Sunday, another batch of storms. This kind of looks like an avocado. We've been laughing about this here at the station. Um, but yeah, an enhanced risk uh, through Arkansas and in through Missouri, you know, I-44, I-40, those areas will be affected by this. So be on alert. Make sure you have our smartphone app in your hands at all time and you'll get those tornado warnings in real time, any time of day. Keep your ringer on, right? Keep your volume up because you want to hear that, especially Friday night because we're going to be talking about nocturnal thunderstorms. Okay, let's go to the midweek uh, severe threat, weather threat. For, uh, Wednesday, we'll start with that. Wow. Uh, Wednesday, 4 a.m. Okay, so it's really uh, tonight into tomorrow morning. We see a little bit of activity through Missouri, but watch as the front really fills in. So by tomorrow afternoon, you can see why we're saying damaging winds here at the Weather Network, because according to the models, a lot of these storms seem to be lining out, um, and that means they're all kind of clustered together in a line. So yes, you can get you know embedded tornadoes in that, but the bigger threat will be straight line wind damage. So I imagine we'll have several wind reports out of this. That front moves off to the east on Thursday by 2 p.m. We're looking at uh, much of the mid-south and then over to I-95. It kind of dissipates by Friday, but then we have our next batch of severe weather on Friday. Notice these are more separated, right? More discreet. That's what's concerning because, yeah, the tornado threat will be much higher for Friday into Saturday as well. We'll keep you posted with the latest, but let's take a look here uh, just to close things out because uh, Thursday is a bit of a break. Yeah, there'll be a front moving through, but it doesn't look to be as severe. But this is to be taken seriously. This is Friday. Uh, we are very concerned about Friday severe weather, so keep it here all week long. Some pretty impressive shots coming out of North Carolina on your Monday. These are some rivers and streams that are obviously well above, above their crest level. Uh, we've got the flooding that's going to continue for much of the mid-Atlantic and into the northeast next. But in North Carolina, if you live in Raleigh, you're looking at a state of emergency, basically a flood warning, uh, flash flood emergency, I should say. Uh, we take you to near Winston-Salem in North Carolina, and you can see a lot of heavy rainfall as well. So we talked about that yesterday and it delivered, right? We saw that stalled out system up the eastern seaboard. We're still looking at it on radar here, bringing some heavy thunderstorms, lots of lightning. No real th threat in terms of tornadic threat with this, which is good, but you will get some embedded thunderstorms. Plus you're drawing in a lot of tropical moisture um, that is wrapping around the center of this area of low pressure for your Tuesday. It's going to be in through DC, the mid-Atlantic, New York. I know there's been flight delays this morning already at LaGuardia. Um, so throughout the afternoon, you could see more of that just because of that heavy rain. And it's a cold easterly wind off the Atlantic as well as this wraps around this low. Behind it will clear, but will still be a little bit cool unless you live in the deep south. It's going to be nice and hot there. Uh, but there you go. You can see that flash flood warning, including Raleigh. And again, some of these might change throughout the day, but that's what we were seeing uh, this morning. And we've got plenty of flood warnings on the map as well for much of the Carolinas. And, you know, yesterday we saw quite a bit in the way of, uh, you know, surf like um, the waves pounding the surf and we saw some beach erosion and tide and coastal flooding that sort of thing do expect a couple inches of rain still through these areas before we're done with it but the heavier rain that we're tracking will be with severe weather a multi-day severe weather event will bring in upwards to six inches across the central plains tornado alley is primed and ready to go to start uh, may and to end april